I've been putting this video off for a long time. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a room tour of, I guess, my fish tanks. It's really not that interesting. I don't know, you guys keep asking for it. Fun fact about uh, the light situation in here, there are none, there's no ceiling lights. Let's just make the kids live in darkness, all right? Hello darkness, my old friend. They give you this light, but like, that's just not enough. So we're gonna be using this light. Hopefully it doesn't blind you guys. I really don't know how it looks because Troy's filming this. It's a Troy, he's our freshman. This is what we make our freshmen do is film my YouTube videos, because Hazing. My room is really not that big, so I don't know how long this video can possibly run. I only own two tanks, so this is not really going to be like one of those How many animals do I own? 30 exotic bunnies that I keep in my room. I own two falcons and one mouse. You guys are probably used to those kinds of videos. I'm in a dorm room, so like I'm not there yet. I only own technically five animals, but only two species, so I'm going to go with two animals that I own. As you can see with this tank here, like I am going to be setting up more tanks, which is why you should subscribe. Do it! All right, let's start with my seahorse tank. Three seahorses in here. We got Pegasus, Poseidon, and Medusa. They like to hang out on the Acropolis because they are Greek gods. They kind of came out to play now that they see you guys and camera and everything. As you can tell, they've gotten quite big, so I am probably gonna have to find them a bigger tank soon, so they have more room to swim and do their, like, you know, seahorse activities. They do like to wrestle. Mm, let's get ready to rumble! You guys are probably wondering about El Chapo. I haven't seen El Chapo in like five months. He got really sick, gave him to my friend, and then I just kind of never got him back. I kind of feel bad about taking back El Chapo now, so I'm probably just gonna have to get a new El Chapo, but he can't go in this tank anyways because the tank is different now because it's a bare bottom, which means that there's no sand, so... But it actually makes this tank a lot easier to clean without sand. Yeah, I'm down here now. I got some new rock from Carib Sea. I really like it because it's really purple and rocky. <laughs> then I also am running an Aqua Illumination Nero 5 pump. And that's pretty cool because that just came out recently. And then I'm also, I have this ball of Kato algae, which is good for the tank because it takes out uh, bad nutrients. Nutrients. And then I'm running GFO in this media reactor to also reduce nutrients. <laughs> and then I got this little s s flipper s cleaner thing. It's pretty dope. I have to just do this for hours sometimes. I still have to uh, fix kind of a lot of the wires in the back there, but let's let's not talk about that. So we can come in here. You guys have seen these guys. These are my Miami white clownfish, Scarlett Johansson and Sean White. I've had these fish ever since I pretty much started college. They are the bomb. Dot com and a half. Pow. I know you guys are all probably asking why does the tank look so empty? Yeah, so they used to have like a huge anemone in here, but then when I was moving the tank back to school, the anemone dispatched, no, detached from the rock. And then when I turned the tank back on, it got sucked into my power head and it shredded to pieces. And so, um, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. I'm working on it. We're going to get a bunch of coral soon and do like a huge coral haul. It's completely run by my apex controller, basically controls everything. Uh, from the temperature, salinity, all that science stuff. I can see and monitor everything from my computer, from my phone. It's actually a different phone. My real phone is in my pocket. In the first chamber, I run filter sponges and marine pure block. In the second compartment, I have a heater and then literally a filter sock. I know that looks kind of ratchet. Why is there a sock in here? So this has GFO in it, so that just absorbs some phosphates. Down here, it's connected to an ATO, and this is just like my ATO water in there. Water. So it just automatically tops off. Oh, so is that a portrait of your fish? I love them so much that I actually got a portrait of them right here. So, uh, something you might have noticed is I got a lot of new wall decor from Aquashella. I got the opportunity to buy a lot of artwork. So yeah, I like totally pimped out my room with art. So yeah, we'll start over here. This thing, this is the Aquashella logo made out of dead coral skeleton. And like rest in peace, the coral. But like at the same time, this is so freaking cool. Look at the detail. This was made by a company called Coral Creations, Creations with a K. He made this as a custom gift for Sean and I 
for Aquashella. It's also made with reactive ink, so it glows under the UV light. This is a little piece by Reef Weeds. What I like so much about it is that it's actually the logo of her company. I have a lot of Rachel Fogel's artwork in here. She made us this poster. And it's the official limited edition Aquashella Chicago poster. And you have the salt water on one side and the fresh water on the other. I have number 68 and there are only 200 made. Also, I'm super proud of this because I got it framed. It didn't come with the frame, like I framed it. And so I feel like, I don't know, it's just like adulting, you know? Rachel also made this really cool print. Like I had it like put on a canvas. Thing. And so yeah, now it's on my wall and it's super dope. All the different watercolor drawings that you see like on the walls are made by an artist from New Zealand. Her name's Ashley McDonald. She's only 18 years old. She actually might be 19 now. It's been a while. I don't know when her birthday is, so she might be 19 now. But still, it's equally as impressive. Also, you might have noticed my uh, Aquashella pillow. Godmother got me for Christmas. It's awesome. It's, it's super soft, and I sleep on it every night. Thank you, Nuna. Also, my Nuna got me this awesome fish rug. Pretty much the best godmother. This is my window. This is my vent. It gives me heat because we live here in Wisconsin, and it's super cold. <laughs> This dorm does not have air conditioning. I just want literally air conditioning and a light on the ceiling. That's all I want. Also like the video. These are made by Hip Hong. What I think is so cool about these is Hip Hong is also an aquascaper, but not just any aquascaper. This man, whose man's? This man's is ranked number four in the world. So I got these from him at Aquashella. Thanks, Hip. This is my refrigerator. I got a lot of different stickers from the coral companies. I have pretty much all the normal stuff that college kids have in their fridge, you know? So like, I'm not gonna show you cause like, I don't need to show you. Okay, I'll, I'll show you. So we got like some sharp cheddar cause you know, we're in Wisconsin. Bro! Bro! Got applesauce, turbo start, always. And then in my freezer, frozen mysis because now we're gonna feed my fish. <laughs> a 30 gallon tank it's um it's doing super well i'm gonna set it up soon probably in like one of the next few videos comment below what you think i should put in this 30 gallon tank i'm thinking an octopus that'd be pretty cool especially if it escaped and was like roaming around the dorm halls and stuff got the lid so i don't think it would i think i could like make sure it it's super secured in there. I don't know but if you have another idea let me know in the comment section below there's no television in here because i got fish tanks and also Television rods your brain. This is my work area. This is pretty much where I do all my editing, all my school work. These are my backpacks. This one is for class and it holds all my school work. And this one is my camera bag, which holds all my camera stuff and I take to fish stores. And this is where I work. This is my computer. These are my drives that I edit off of. Uh, this is Bay. And with every good Bay, you need a side girl. So this is Bay 2. Like any girlfriend, these are extremely expensive. They have about four terabytes of space on each of them, and I'm almost gonna need a third bay. I don't know how I'm gonna keep that from the other two. I pretty much spend most of my nights here at the desk working on stuff. I don't think you guys really care. Over here is kind of the pile of stuff that I don't want you to see. These are two more tanks I'm gonna set up soon. This is my ODI machine, so I'll show you where I make my water. Over this way, I'm three feet from a water fountain. This is the first access to water that I have. I usually use that mostly for drinking. Then over here, three feet this way, I have the bathroom. There's four showers. One, two, three. But the fourth shower, get this. Just by sheer coincidence, this shower has a hose. Amazing! Just take my ODI machine, which has a hose adapter. Yeah, and there's a drain in here, so if it overflows, I'm good. The reason that I chose this particular room is because nobody is on either side of my room. So like, this is a storage room right here. And this is like a maintenance room. I have no neighbors, so I don't have to worry about pissing people off. You're the worst! 
these neighbors! That was a strategic move. Third advantage is that this room is actually a little bit bigger than last year's room. So it means I have like more room for fish tanks and stuff like that. That kind of does it for my room tour. I mean, there's really nothing else that I have to show you. But in my next video, I am going to be doing an update on Charlie's tank. And see how he's doing in an update on his system. Also coming up in a video soon, I'm going to be setting up that 30 gallon tank. So let me know what you want me to put in it. Should I put an octopus in it or should I... I don't know, put something else in it, like a turtle. I like turtles. I don't know, you tell me. But yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you found this interesting. If you didn't, honestly, I don't care. Feel free to subscribe and also turn on the post notifications. I've noticed that none of you guys are getting notifications that I'm posting new videos. So if you are subscribed to this channel, turn on the post notifications so you actually get notified. Thanks so much for watching this video. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.